Hello and welcome back to my holiday series. Today is September 28th and it is National Good Neighbor Day. So I am a, I want to say I'm a terrible neighbor, but I'm not a terrible neighbor in the sense that I'm like loud or anything like that. I'm a terrible neighbor in that I really only know one other person that lives in this apartment. <laughs> um, complex, building, you know, whatever, uh, which is my next door neighbor. Um, and he seems pretty cool. He seems nice, you know, whatever. He's um, recently divorced and he has his kids like uh, every other weekend or something like that. I don't know. Um, he's always checking if his kids are too loud when they are over. And I think that's really nice of him and whatever. And I'm like, dude, I don't even know that they're there half the time. Like, it's all good. Um, but otherwise, you know, he just seems pretty, you know, just chill, laid back, whatever. Um, I think he's a, a, maybe a kind of gamer a little bit. Like, he kind of almost, like, chuckled when I said all I had was a Switch. Like, he has the PS5 or whatever, you know. Um... But yeah, other than that, I am a terrible neighbor because that's the only person I know and he introduced himself to me because that's just how I am. I don't introduce myself to people. That's that's never how I functioned ever. Any friends that I've ever had ever have all approached me because I, even now, even as an adult, you know, adult person living on their own, I still am fairly shy when it comes to actually like meeting new people and introducing myself and stuff um you know my my best friend in uh through you know from like middle school to high school approached me um you know I was sitting at a table by myself and she came up to me and started talking um usually I mean, work is a different situation, other you know, than school when it comes to that because usually you're introduced to your coworkers like, oh, you know, hey, um, this is so and so, and you're like, oh, hi. So you at least have that like little bit of interaction, but even still, like, it's really hard for me to open up to people even at work. Um, so yeah, so even when I moved in here, um. Which has been, uh, over, uh, well, a few months over a year now. A year and a, and a few months I've lived here. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I mean, when I moved in, there there were, like, a couple of people who, you know, kind of was, like, looking, like, oh, who's moving in, whatever. There was a person who actually asked if we needed any help, which I thought was nice. Um, I just, I mean, I had my sister, her husband, my mom and my dad. Um, and the kids, you know, they helped carry some stuff, um, you know, to help. So we're like, oh, you know, we're good, whatever. But that was nice, you know, don't know where they live. Have never seen these people again, I don't think. Um, I did sort of meet the people in the building over, um, but not under the best of circumstances, I wouldn't say. Well, no, I mean, I did talk to the one dude actually first when I was getting mail, he was out there and he was... Just you know, chatting, like being being neighborly, being friendly, but also kind of creepy. Like I don't know, I I kind of go with my gut feeling a lot when it comes to people, and I'm usually right. So, um, but you know, he was just chatting and whatever. But then he said something, and then he go he, like, oh, how did he start? I can't remember exactly how he started, but just randomly out of the blue he asks me are you the one that uh is like a, a cancer survivor and I was just like what like what no what why would you first of all why would you say that to someone as a thing like if you don't even know 100% sure for sure that someone has survived cancer why would you say that <clears throat> second of all why would you say that? Like, that's something that would come up in a conversation or, you know, or like when you actually are getting to know someone or whatever. And that would be on that person to say it. It shouldn't be that you heard it from someone and you're confirming. And I, you know, when, when I said no, he was like, 
literally did the most like movie cliche. He's like, oh, I am so embarrassed. I'm like, did you really just say that? That's so, that's not real. Like you are not being real right now. Like, I don't know what his agenda was. I don't know why he asked that. It was just very weird to me. And then fast forward a little bit and I get to meet, sort of meet whatever his roommate. I don't know. I think they live in the same apartment. Maybe they don't. Maybe they just hang out. I don't know. But he decided to, I say decided, he has a medical condition or something, but also he shouldn't be driving if that's the case, to fall asleep as he pulled into our parking lot and hit three cars. Yeah. So he kind of became the talk of the uh, apartment complex, you know, uh, there were lots of people outside. Uh, I was a nosy Nancy and I was outside too. Um, but also, I mean, I heard crashing metal on metal screeching. So of course I have to look like who wouldn't look for that. Um, so then me and the neighbor next door here, were kind of chatting and we're uh, just, it was insane. Obviously police were called and things and an ambulance and, but he recently had surgery and I think he had a tumor. But also, if you know that you fall asleep, why are you driving? Like, that's the... I get when you have medical conditions. That's, you know, out of your hands. But when you choose to still drive and you have the possibility of passing out, that's just not good, right? Wouldn't think so. But anyway, that's about all I know <laughs> about anybody else that's here. Um, the one that l used to live downstairs on this side, she seemed okay. She was a little, and like, she didn't, she wasn't trying to be like nosy or anything. Um, or at least that's what she said. Um, I mean, she seemed nice enough just to say hi to, you know, whatever. I mean, she was never rude or anything and so that was fine, but. I guess she's gone. Like, I don't know. One day there was a moving truck of some kind and then nothing. Um, but I never actually saw her like moving anything. I, I don't know. Um, and the ones down on this side, I have absolutely no idea who lives there. Um, there were like, three or four guys there today when I came home from work and they had the door propped open and they were carrying stuff and they had gloves and I don't know if I don't know if any of them actually live there no idea um but yeah so good neighbor be a good neighbor in that no one has to complain about you which I've not had to complain about anybody here so that's good um Maybe try to be a good neighbor in that you actually say hello to people. I don't know. That's not my thing. Because <laughs> I'm just... I don't know. That's just not my thing. I just can't just be the first person to initiate a conversation with someone. It's just not me. But if you're capable of doing it, go for it. More power to you. Um, but yeah. So be a good neighbor, enjoy your neighbors, hopefully, um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!